It's a handwritten document, but there's a question if it actually is a will, because in order to be a will in Michigan, it needs to be in someone's handwriting, signed and dated by them, and they need to intend it to be a will, and there's a lot of questions around that. For a holographic will to be valid in Michigan, it needs to be in writing, it needs to be signed, and there needs to be the intent to do a will. You know, anytime you end up in the court system, it's really a roll of the dice. You don't know what's going to happen. Her sons, instead of working this out outside of court without the jury trial, decided to try their chances in the court system. As soon as they turn 18, that all changes. And then the doctors say, sorry, we can't talk to you anymore because your child's an adult. And if you do things right, you can say, but wait a minute, I actually have a power of attorney, so I can talk to you, and I have the right to make my child's medical decisions. The way that a trust works isn't just by signing the document. You actually have to transfer your assets into the trust. And what that means is retitling your bank accounts, your different stocks and investments, changing beneficiary designation. No one wants to talk about death and dying, yeah. but the good news is there are other ways to get across that hurdle. And one of the things I like to encourage families to do is to bring up those celebrities in the news during the family dinner, like Matthew Perry, Aretha Franklin. Well, I think a lot of people, we all know it's a difficult time when you have a cancer diagnosis, but if you don't have the proper documents in place, then your loved ones may not be able to give you the help that you need. I think it's a great idea to reach out to all those professionals in your life this time of year, your attorney, your financial advisor, your CPA. And it's also really important to keep a list of all your assets and look those over to make sure that everything's how you want it. So review and spring go together perfectly. Sure. If you don't have a will, the state you live in has one waiting for you, which most of us don't want somebody else making our decisions of who our money goes to and how. So if you want to have control over your decisions, you need to do a will at the very least. I think a lot of people just think marriage is just a financial institution, but it's not. There's financial advantages to getting married, and there's also some legal advantages as well. It depends on what age you are, what your assets are, but basically you're putting something in writing, so if something happens to you, if you're disabled, you pass away, then your wishes are followed, because otherwise we don't know what you would want.